summertime, your potted plants dry out real quick, you might want to check them a couple times a day. Uh, your fertilizer's probably getting depleted, especially if you used a uh, slow release, and you might want to go ahead and give them a liquid feed to finish out the season. Your compost pile needs turned this time of year. You want to turn it occasionally. You want to keep the moisture content about 50%. Your chrysanthemums, if they aren't dark green, probably need fertilized before they bloom this fall. Watering your garden in the morning deeply is much better than watering it throughout the day frequently and lightly. This is a crepe myrtle, and like all flowering plants, they must be deadheaded, which means taking the squint blooms off to keep it blooming. As summer progresses, be sure to continue to monitor your plants for insects and other pests such as spider mites. With spider mites, you'll find that on the foliage there will be a light sandblasting look as well as perhaps some heavy webbing on the underside of the leaf. Also, you'll want to be sure and continue to watch for the development of bagworms on cedars and many of your junipers. Actually, bagworms begin on our plants in early May and or late May and early June, but as they get larger, they're, they're more conspicuous. About the only control now for the bagworm is just to pick the bags off, be sure to put them in a, a plastic bag or some other type of disposable container and put them in the trash rather than throwing them on the ground underneath the tree. And webworms are beginning to become a problem on many of our ornamentals and fruit trees. The webworm uh, is a close relative to the tent caterpillar and we're going to be seeing a continuation of webworms and tent caterpillars throughout the season. Webworm can easily be controlled now with uh, pesticides such as Bt being sure to penetrate inside the web with the spray to reach the little insect itself. Also, uh, we're looking at some other problems that are beginning to show up on many of our ornamentals, particularly uh, ornamentals such as azaleas and pyracanthas and many of our trees such as the sycamore. This is an insect called lacebug. The lacebug, again, is a very tiny insect. It, can, it will feed primarily on the underside of the leaf, causing a little lacy appearance and having a, a frass looking appearance uh, appearing on the uh, foliage as well. So be sure to continue to monitor all of your ornamentals and your vegetable gardens and your, uh, throughout your landscape for all sorts of insects and pests throughout the summer. You know, even during the middle of the summer and as we're experiencing some very warm days, it's still time to start thinking about our fall garden. Actually, vegetables grown in Oklahoma in the fall can be some of our highest quality because as the fall days are mild and warm and sunny and the nights are cool and humid, then the quality of the vegetables is very, very good. So there are a very uh, great number of vegetables that can be grown in the fall garden. But some particular attention has to be paid to that. Of course, our soil is much warmer now, so you want to be sure to have good soil preparation. Be sure that your soil is adequately supplied with moisture, and it's a good idea to soak your seed overnight in some water before you plant those seed the next morning, just to give them a little bit of boost. We're gonna be planting some vegetables today in the fall garden. The one we're planting right now is pumpkin. Now is an ideal time to plant pumpkin. We still have at least 120 days of good growing weather left in this part of the state. And so we'll plant our pumpkin seed. I've soaked those overnight. Plant them at a depth of about three quarters to an inch deep. This gives them a little bit more protection and insulation from the hot afternoon suns. Cover them over very well, tamp them well, and then you will see that these will actually emerge quicker than they would normally earlier in the season when the soil is not quite so cool. As far as seed sources for the fall garden goes, you can use the seed actually that you have left over from your spring or early summer garden, provided those seed have been stored in an airtight container and uh, placed in a cool, dry location, such as the refrigerator or even uh, the freezer part of your refrigerator. Many vegetables can be grown now in the fall garden. 
early crops or long maturing crops such as cow peas, uh, winter squash, pumpkins that we've just planted, uh, as well as even sweet corn in some parts of the state are very uh, successful planted this time of the year in the fall garden, somewhere between the middle of July and early August. As we get into early August and throughout the, the uh, latter parts of August, we can plant those that require a little less uh, time for maturing, such as summer squash and cucumbers. As we get into the late part of August and through early to mid-September, we can plant more of the cool season crops, such as, uh, bro I'm sorry, such as radishes and lettuce and carrots and many of those crops that uh, really, really do well in the cool parts of the early fall. I would really encourage you to look at places that open up and spaces that open up in your own garden now at this time of the year and start planting and planting in your fall garden. Some really good tips on planting the fall garden are given in our fall gardening fact sheet 6009. It's available at your local county extension office or by contacting us on our website. We hope you've enjoyed this classic from the Oklahoma Gardening Vault. Remember, even though these tips and techniques are timeless, there's always something new to learn in the world of gardening. By subscribing to both Oklahoma Gardening and OK Gardening Classics, you'll have access to a wealth of gardening knowledge, both classic and contemporary.